all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video and it's time for a brand new overwatch 2 seasonal event this is a brand new one so all right they they teased this earlier in well earlier last month uh of course where they showed all the different um greek uh mythology inspired skins for all the other characters of course right now you can get the junker queen one if you get to tier was it tier 80 for the battle pass i haven't played a lot of overwatch 2 this this season uh but at this point when see when overwatch 2 first came out so like at this point it would have been like maybe sometime in november i already finished the battle pass um now right now i'm only i think tier eight <laughs> i'm very low uh i really want to play more now is this gonna be i just i don't know why i just thought, i just thought of this is this gonna be one of those things where you get the fucking you have to pay for them or something or is this gonna be like it its own battle pass or something what what is this gonna be is this gonna be you have to pay for each of these skins because already this reinhardt skin's amazing it looks so good and all the other ones that i remember seeing looked awesome i have to i want to watch this trailer again because i don't remember exactly what the other ones were but i remember thinking they looked sick it's a great idea too uh too uh, greek mythology i hope we get norse next that'd be kind of cool especially since you know like god of war just do the god of war thing you go from greek to norse that'd be sweet um so uh, let's get to it. Yeah, we got like we got Hades two coming up. We got this. Yo, Greek mythology's back. It came. Back. It's back, baby. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's get a, uh, let's get to it. I hope it's a. Uh, I hope it's not crazy. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, play. Three to play. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Medusa's get yo. All right, we'll go back to look at that. Of course. A burn new limit. Okay, new mode. All right, what is it? Oh, okay, okay. So they just have different. Okay, earn divine reward. Okay, they earn divine reward. So it said earn reward. I mean, you, so does that mean battle pass? All right. Nice. Dude, these skins are sick. I'm trying to understand what this mode is. They just have different powers? Okay, that's sick. That's really sick. Dude, that's OP. Limited time mode. Uh, two days. Wow, two days. Okay. I feel like they usually um, have a trailer for like a new mode a day before. Oh, nice. That was great. <laughs> Don't even look. <laughs> they did. Oh, they did. All right. Hold on, I won't read this first. Introducing Battle for Olympus, a free-for-all deathmatch mode featuring seven of your favorite heroes with reimagined abilities that channel the power of the gods. Okay. Uh, stay on the lookout for our global leaderboard where we'll be tallying eliminations from each of the heroes throughout the event. Okay, cool. The hero with the most eliminations will be honored with a statue in Eli... What? That's sick. That's actually really cool. All right. Oh, it's Junker Queen. The battle runs January 5th through... But wait, okay, so do you earn these skins? Oh no, are these skins only going to be for this mode? Oh no, is that what it's going to be? Because I don't think, like, besides the Junker Queen one, none of these other skins were in that battle pass, right? At least I don't think so. Maybe maybe one or two. But there's six other skins besides Junker Queen, obviously. Um, is this only going to be for this mode? Because it didn't. wasn't there one mode that came out that where the skins were only exclusive to that mode? Wasn't it the Halloween one, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. I, again, I haven't really been keeping up with a lot of Overwatch stuff. When I keep up with Overwatch stuff, it's usually because I want to play it. <laughs> and I haven't been wanting to play it for the last, like, month. I played a, a, a good amount of Ramatra when it first came out, and that was, like, it. Uh, Ramatra, by the way, is great. Uh, let me... I just want to see uh, all the characters. All right, obviously, that one's great. The Medusa one's so good. <laughs> all right, so we got... Of course, we got... Uh, Wait, the Ramacho one is that that Ramacho one already out? I don't remember. I uh, got Lucio, got Farah, got Roadhog, um, Jungle Queen, Wid Widow seemed very strange. Very strange one there. You got a bunch of tanks. You got, I guess Widow will do very well against 
uh, fire. Well, I guess their their new abilities, I guess, make it so that they're probably all evenly matched. In a way. I would at least hope so that they're be evenly matched. I want to see this again because there was a lot going on and I was questioning a lot of stuff. So I kind of want to see. All right, so all right, that's just an emo. Like, uh, all right, so. So he shoots stuff out that looks like it probably does a lot more damage, I would assume. I aim to petrify. That's a good one. Oh, you can... I didn't even... I didn't even notice that. You can move while using your ult. What? <laughs> wow. I don't play a lot of Pharah, to be fair. Uh... <laughs> You can move on. She did her ult. That's weird. That's really weird. All right, so he gets bigger. I noticed that. And then he fires. Is that his ult? His ult now is he fires a big rock, and I'm assuming you could keep firing. That'd be actually kind of awesome. Right. Yep, yep. All right. So his is uh, like obviously his ult is still there when you get near him. It, it hurts. Okay, so was is it was that to show like something like that won't block it? I guess I, I'm confused what they were showing exactly. There. I love this one. This one looks OP. Just does it immediately kill them all? I mean, it probably doesn't. It probably just does damage. It, they're just making it look like it kills everybody. I'm actually kind of excited to play this. I don't. I'm not like a big death match guy. I I just find death match to be really annoying most of the time. Um, not, not in Overwatch, just in general, because it's like you spawn and then there's times where you spawn and immediately get killed from behind. Like Call of Duty is like the worst for that. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Call of Duty is, but Halo, Halo is the worst for that. I hate that. Cause like, there's no, I, I legitimately think there's no skill behind like a death match mode sometimes as long as, as if it's a good death match you know, where, where, like, you're spawned in places where you don't get fucking instantly killed from people behind you. But, fuck, every time, I swear to God, every time I play Slayer in, in, in uh, Halo, whether, whether it be Halo Infinite or whatever, um, I think it was more like Halo Master Chief Collection where it really annoyed me. I, I swear to God, every time I, I'd spawn in, immediately someone shoot me from behind. I'm like, like, I, I don't understand how this is skillful at all. Like, at least Team Deathmatch, you have, obviously, you're only fighting four other people, so you don't need to worry about that. But in Slayer, sometimes you can play up to, like, what, eight to 12 people? And it's like, fuck. And some of the maps are too small. I just, I, I don't like Deathmatch. Um, this looks like it'll be fun, because it'll be an arcade mode, too, so it doesn't fucking matter. Like, arcade, I don't take seriously at all. I don't give a fuck. Like, honestly. That's the one I play whenever I just want to, like, check out a new map, check out a character, uh, just want to have a fun time with a mode like the May Snowball shit or whatever. Which I think today is the last day for that. I should play a little bit because I wanted to get some of the achievements, but then I was like, I don't really want to play May Snowball Offensive or it's called. <clears throat> it's okay, but I didn't really want to play it. Um, I just wanted to get the achievements. Uh, but uh, stretch. Ah, anyway, there you go. What are they going to do when it comes to the anniversary uh, modes now? You know how they used to have anniversary every May? Is it going to be every October now? But isn't that that's also Halloween? So what the fuck are they going to do? They're going to have two events going on at the same time? Or are they going to keep it as May? Because that's when Overwatch 1 originally came out. And the anniversary is, is when they have like all the modes and all the skins available so you can buy them. But actually, now they, can't, they don't do that because you can just buy the skins whenever you want. I don't know. Anyway, maybe they won't do an anniversary thing anymore. This is cool, though. This is really cool. These li limited time modes like this. Really cool. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.